So I know in recent weeks you've wanted to run the ball. Yeah. How'd that work out? Hey, we really ran the ball well tonight. I, I, I can't say enough about our offensive line tonight. Um, you know, they even they, they started out in the odd man front. They even went bare, and we were able to continue to run the ball, even against the bare front. And, um, and, and as you saw, we, we ran Woods a lot tonight. Was that a game plan? Yeah, it was. In? We, you know, we wanted to run him 20 or more times tonight. Hey, no sense of saving him now. It's do or die. <laughs> That's right. How did you think he performed? I thought he did awesome. Man. I did, thought he did a great job. We have really been playing well offensively the last few weeks, as good as anybody, I think. So just just with Woods, just tonight. I mean, you've seen him for several years now. Yeah. It seemed like he was running with an edge. He was. He was a lot. Hey, running with confidence. He's he's a great football player. Yeah. How about just that first half, kind of the back and forth? What was tough about their passing game to defend? You know, they've got a six seven and a six three. Uh, but I tell you, I thought a big thing in the game was, you know, they drove down and scored, and we turned around and answered. Them. And, and we were right there, and, and, you know, we got their attention a little bit. But, um, I, you know, oh, what a big win. Yeah. What's it say about you guys just that first half again? You know, Reeves and Paris have been yeah. so big, and they get shut out in that first half. And y'all are still, yeah. you know, not just yeah. in it, but leading the game. What does yeah. that say about your team as a whole? Just, just you know, how far we've come and, 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 and just how we can run the ball right now. We're really running the football well, and our offensive line is really playing well. I have no idea if Spanish Fort has won or if Pike Rowe has won. just told me Pike Rowe is 22-21. I don't know what the hell I got. I hope so because I'd love to play it at home again next week. Yes, so sir. do you know anything about either of I them being I so I really far? don't. I really don't. Have I'm you, just happy to get this one, <laughs> and um, I'm going to enjoy this one for a day or two. How do you prepare, regardless of who the opponent is, how do you prepare this time of year as you move forward? We're just taking one at a time. You know, in this time of year, it's survival of the fittest, and, and hopefully we didn't get too banged up tonight. Well, let's talk about it. Why are you gassed? We ran the ball like 30 times. <laughs> How did it feel running it, though? I mean, I'll do anything to win. It's the playoffs. I don't care what the situation is. If he calls me to run, I'm running it. Did you have a, a different edge coming in? Coach was telling me it was the game plan to run you 20-plus times. I mean, our coach says, like, take it one game at a time. The most important game is always the next one. So I just try to keep that in mind, not let, not let the moment get too big. But I'm coming in with an edge and that no one can stop me in the playoffs. How'd your O-line play? They played amazing. I think we probably had over 200 rushing yards. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the most we've had all season. They played amazing. They, they didn't know what we were doing. We were pulling and cracking. So I'm, I'm really proud of them. How do you keep this rolling going forward? The last I saw, Pike Road was up one on Spanish Fort. But regardless of opponent, how do y'all ensure that you keep this going? We just got to take it one day at a time. Don't let the moment get too big. Um, it's the second round of the playoffs. There's only 16 teams left. And I'm just glad we're, we're part of that.